To get into something, no cap, this is jumping, zigzags, and we feeling something. So, you ain't feeling something. Yeah. Still a queen with the locks and the crown on top. Looking at the like mountain top. Let the run from the fountain top. Figure eight on the count. Get to my confidence, rock it high, baby. And I'll be your rocker, bye, baby. I might have to draw a line, baby. You took the water line, baby. You're so far away, you're so far away. Don't you walk away, no, you gotta stay. All over your face, let's be honest, baby. Choice was never not mine. So, just about set now. Colton Wong up to hit. Leading off tonight for Milwaukee, the second baseman. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. And that's how this game gets started. And the pitch. Fought off foul. And the right hander deals. That misses two and one. And he deals. That misses the zone. And the count is three and one. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. The center field now it's Lorenzo six. Kane. Lorenzo yeah. first pitch and that's in for a strike. Oh and one. One down, base is empty. This one popped up and it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you not too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kane over at first with one away. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feet, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. And at first, here's Luis Arias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. That misses, and that's ball three. And a pitch. That's in there, and it's three and one. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Right into the plate. And there's a foul ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. Olsen takes it to the bag, and that is that. Bottom of the first, here's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. The second baseman. Ozzie. And the pitch. Albies. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. And that one almost got him. Ball to strike. And a foul ball. Next pitch off the play. Two balls, two strikes. 
And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next one misses, and it's a full count. Left hand batter waits. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because That's even that. though he strikes out, That's he saw stuff. a lot of pitches yeah, and he baby. battled. And this is a long haul that. where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Next offering is foul back. The pitch stays alive. The pitch. The punch out there. Back to back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie. And here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. Well, it was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right that there, he made him pay. The first baseman. Matt Olson Matt. up to the plate. Olsen. And a foul ball. Oh, Next offering right. upstairs. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. On the ground. And he picks it up in foul territory. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. Braves get one on the big fly. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Top of the second, and now the catcher comes up to him. Omar Narvaez. Off for the, the catcher. Omar the pitch. Narvaez. In for a strike. Strike one. Ball and one. there's a ball. And a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. One and two. And a ball in two strikes. Got him. And there's one away. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Next offering is down low. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Ball, and that is strike two. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. 
two up, two down at the top of the second. Now, Tyrone Taylor. The right fielder, number 15. Tyrone Taylor. First pitch, just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a 1-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the righty deals. Stays alive. Two down. Nobody on. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Austin Ryan. For the Braves. The third baseman, Austin. Peralta, back to work. Riley. And first offering is fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Right hander kicks deals. And it's one and one. The wide to kick the pitch. And the count one and two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Swings and misses, one down. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball that is coming good. in to let them know the what the hitter. pitch is. And if they see the red dot. Oh, now this one's blasted oh, deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. That one felt good. His 11th of the year, it's 2 nothing. Breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one two. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the right hander deals. Stays the line. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. In the air, left field. Yelich moving under this one. He's got it. There's two away. Adam Duvall at the play. The right field. You ball. That first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. That leaves him without a throw. He's in safely, and now there's a runner at first. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Good power. Not great. 
in the OVP department. Center field. Kane flying after this one. Makes the grab on the run. And the inning is over. One more for Atlanta on the homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning. Now batting Michael Brasso. Anderson back to work. Yeah, there's the strike. And now it's even up. Good eye in that spot. Bounce to the right side. That's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just a simple ground ball the other way. The they had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. Jace Peterson stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. The 0-1. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. Yeah, He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Digging in, Colton Wong. His righty Wong. lefty splits there. The second baseman. Colton. That one pulled foul. <laughs> Next oh, pitch bad. misses, and the count is one and one. Tying run at the plate. That one missed. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Kane batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Next offering upstairs. Two on, one out. Going to count one and two. Count one and two. Brasso, the lead runner out at second. Wong at first, one gone. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and two. Got him. Two away. So first and second with two outs. Now it's Christian Yelich. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. At the belt and fires. Look out, one and one. Flips the corner, one and two. Backdoored him with the breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Lifted in the air, right center field. He can't get there, that should be extra bases. One runs in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 2-2. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Here's your one. Well, we call that keyhole, even though it's right there and looks pretty good. And down on strikes he goes. Out number three. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We are tied. As we go. To the last of the third. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The right-hander back to work. That's a strike. All ones in the count. They say he went. 
Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Up the middle. Throws to first. And Albies is retired. Fastball moved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage no, done with that seven. pitch. A hard grounder, Short but he stop. wanted to get that ball Can't in the air. Miss. Maybe drive it into the gap. And first offering is fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. Next pitch misses outside. And that is ball one. And here it comes. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. Off the mark there. The count now two and two. Riding to the plate. That one inside. Three and two now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch, and he just misses. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. One and two now on Acuna. That one just misses. Next offering upstairs. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. And he deals. And that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now Matt Olson up to hit. First offering, and it just misses. You know, the two-out walk, got to erase that and really go to work on the hitter. you got to go ahead and just let him steal if he's going to. Try to create the swing and miss and get out of this jam. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. And you wonder, is he in his head a little bit? Even if the base runner doesn't steal right here, what's great is that he is dividing the attention of the pitcher and may serve to give his teammate a better pitch to hit at the plate. Acuna off the first with two away. Pitch misses and a full count now. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Right. In the box, lays off for ball one. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. Pitch misses inside. Two balls and a strike. Two outs. That one ripped. Down the line, and it's foul. Well, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So, you know. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Start of the fourth, Omar Narvaez at the plate. 
The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. There's the strike. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next one in the dirt. That's down and in. And a pitch. On the inside corner for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Albies over to first in time. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of yeah, keeping bad. the ball out the of the air. Let's the defense work Andrew. behind him with another ground ball. McCutcheon. Good execution. McCutcheon hey. batting with one down, takes the strike. Kicks and fires. And now the count is even. Here comes a pitch. In the air, left side. Rosario sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's two down. Two outs, bases empty. Milwaukee. Next for Milwaukee, right Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone. He's 0 for 1. Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. One and one. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. One, two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. The right hander back to work. Ball one there. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And the righty deals. There's the strike. The pitch. Fought off foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. And it's even up. Why to kick the pitch? Three. Down on strikes. One gone here. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. The left fielder. Number Here's eight. Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Rosario swings and drives one deep to right field. Bangs off the wall. Rosario into second, and he's got a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here. But you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. There's a ball. Runner third. He's safe. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. And there's the strike. Next offering is outside. One pitch is in there, and the count is even. And the right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. Darno in the box now. No balls and a strike. 
a one down. And that drops in for a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back at Truist Park, ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the shortstop, Michael Brasso. The shortstop. Michael and the pitch. Brasso. 0 oh 1. The wind and the pitch. Now one out to right. Duvall moving under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Now it's Chase Peterson. Chase. Here's a rocket out to left. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away down. Colton Wong now at the plate. The second good contact guy, Colton. good defender. Wong. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Deal two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is Back here in Atlanta, bottom of the inning. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Leading up for the Braves. The second base. The wind of the pitch. Ozzy. And oh, ball baby. one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Alec Bettinger, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Lindblom getting cranked up as well. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. New pitcher now, Alec Bettinger. He's been so good against lefties. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A two-run shot, his 19th home run of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 4-2. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. Every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. And a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Couldn't now get any air under it, but he smoked that ball oh, back good. up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Right, right, right. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Right side. Taylor pulls it down. Yeah, there's two away. Now that the designated hitter. First down. Oh, do not. Marcelo Zuna stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. There's a 1 1. And there's a foul ball. Olsen off of first with two away. Next pitch misses inside. It's two and two. Righty delivers. Got it. Good job at damage control right there. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 4-2. And welcome back. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Lorenzo Kane. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And 
And that one fouled off. The pitch. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. To the right side. Albies gathers and throws to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Next for the Brewers, Christian Yelich. One for two. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Rosario settles under this one. Two up, two down. Now the Brewers the cleanup game. hitter, Luis Urias. Luis First offering, misses the mark. And here it comes. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. Off the mark there. And it's two and one. And a pitch. And that skips in the dirt. Three ball, one strike. Kicks and deals. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Omar Narvaez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Left hand batter waits. And that's in for a strike. The 1 1. There's a swing and a try. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's the Braves four and the Brewers two. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. First pitch just misses. Righty to the plate. And a strike on the outside edge. Action in the pen down there. Justin Topa, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. The one-two. Just missed. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Kane on his way over. And out number one on the ground. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. That one fouled off. The pitch. That one not close. And now it's even one and one. The wind of the pitch. And delivers outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. That one is absolutely belted. And that is gone. And a few ball blasts one out. His ninth homer of the year. And they add a run. It's 5-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're now clearly Travis feeding Petra. off of each other at the dip. Travis. And Darno. now it's going to be Travis Darno. First pitch, and he just misses. 
Right handed reliever. And it's one and one. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Now so the lineup flips over. Base. Here is Ozzie Albies. Albies up to him. Albies. Next pitch has popped up. Urias under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 5-2. Back here at the ball. Leading off for the Brewers. The Welcome back. We're in the seventh even the pitcher on the mound. Colin McHugh. He has a great slider with tons of movement. The pitch. That's a strike. That's strike one. The pitch. On the ground to the left. Throw on to Olsen, and a quick out number one. Tyrone now Taylor up right now for the Brewers. Tyrone Taylor. First offering, and it just misses. And a swing and a miss. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. Swing and a miss. Ball, that points. is yeah. strike two. The pitch. That's a ball. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Two outs, base is empty. Now Michael Brasso up now for the Brewers. Michael Brasso. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Nice. There's the strike. There's a line drive to left field. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Up now for Milwaukee, now Jace Peterson. Jace Peterson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he deals. That's a ball. There's the swing and a miss. Now, Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now, now with two away. Back to the Colton. top of the Milwaukee order. Yeah. Now it's the second baseman, Colton Wong, for the fourth time tonight. And he'll won. Good eye right there. Out to short. Third out. Brewers. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Justin Topa. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's back there. And out of here. Dansby Swanson hits one out. 
And they add to the lead. It's 6-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Acuna at the plate now as he chases after that one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next offering way off the plate. And the right-hander deals. Got him looking. And that's the first out. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Now that the first baseman. Matt Olson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. Right through there for a strike. The why to kick the pitch. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Narvaez under it. Two down. Here's Austin the Riley. Third the third baseman. Austin. In there, and it's 0 1. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location, just to swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And that is that. We're at the top of the eighth. Leading off for Milwaukee, the center fielder, number six, Lorenzo King. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound, trying to protect this lead. And the pitch. That one is upstairs. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this line. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The pitch. Right through there. Got it. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Here's Yelich at the dish. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter in the bullpen just following suit. Just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach. When you can hand the ball off to multiple arms, it gets stability from all of their performances. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. At the belt and finals. Way high. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two down. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge if you change the ball game. Next offering is foul back. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's his second strikeout. Back at Truist Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. The designated hitter. There's a strike. Oh, Zuna. And the pitch. And fouled off. The 0 2. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Yelich makes the play. And there's one down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. The left fielder, number and eight. Next for Atlanta, Eddie, Eddie. Rosario. Rosario. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. Out there to center. Kane settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two outs. The right fielder, number 14, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Righty delivers. That misses the zone, and it's 2 0. Oh. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck. Right field, and off the base of the wall. Taylor throws to second. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Showed off some really now nice oppo pop through. with that swing. And just couldn't get it over the oh, fence. No. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. You'll one. Hard hit left side. Slings it across. That is the inning. New in. Kenley on here. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Here comes a pitch. That's in for a strike. Jansen, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Next inside, one off the plate ball. inside. Now one and two. The pitch. Ground ball left side. And foul ball. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, pretty much forget about it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now back Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Andrew. First pitch just misses. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. He makes the grab. That's out number two. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Brewers. Foul ball. And he's got deception in his delivery. And it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series. And there's just such a good feeling with you in your own ballpark. Sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. And your final, six to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shelby saying so long. I write pop no sinister. This ain't rap music, this ain't literature. It's more minded. All your ideas. The final line here for our ballgame for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Mystic, realistic, and simplistic. Spirits visit how we live it. It's intrinsic, kiss me, kiss it. It's smeared like lipstick, colorful on our souls. A mouthful of gold or a drummer's roll. Stories get told about us. That's why things so blah without us. Wherever we are, you can feel the prowess. Whenever we move, yo, we turn the style up. I'ma just give black powers flowers. Whether in the projects or the palace. Even when the pale horse tried to gallop, it stir, stir it up. We kept the balance. We move in silence. We move the loudest. Ancestors in my dreams. They moved the wildest, they prayed about us, praised and shouted. Picture this country being brave without us. A slave's nostalgia moved through the woods with vigor. When we got free, the world moved with us. Now they want to change the bodies, go figure. Used to call us, now they want to be the 